What's good everybody, it's your boy PH Dynas4 here, and I'm back. I got a video for y'all with Screamtail and Brute Bonnet. These two little guys are obviously the past Paradox Pokemon. It's kind of weird that I'm doing two Paradox Pokemon at a time in one video. Usually I would have just like flip-flopped and be like, future than a past, future than a past. But I kind of just wanted to do these two together because they're they're pretty simple on what they do. Also, that was my oven, by the way. Don't worry about that. But um, yeah, these two are very simple in what their game plan is. So we're going to explain pretty much what they all what both of these guys do. So Screamtail is a very psychic type, interesting type combination. We've seen before with Gardevoir and Hatterene, Hatterene, probably a few others. It's uh, it works. It's offensive type combination. Defensively, as you can see by Screamtail's uh, defenses, it got some defenses on them. It got some defenses. Attack and special attack, nothing really, not, not really that useful, but hey, this thing isn't really used for hitting hard anyways. This thing is mainly used to be annoying. It's mainly there for supporting. I'm being honest, this is a whole ass support mod. The definition of a support mod was with attacks that like that, it's a support mod. So, what the set I have is a booster energy, booster energy so it can boost up its speed, protect, dazzling gleam, encore, fake tears. Why do I have fake tears? Because mainly this thing, this set is here to be paired up with your hard hitting special attackers like Goldango, Flutter Me, which is going to be used in the series two. Who else? Maybe like Alakazam. Oh, I said Alakazam. What the fuck? No. Farafarig, shit. <laughs> you could use Farafarig. Hatterene is probably one of them too. You can use Sylveon is definitely one of them. Hydreigon, you know. It's mainly there to be fake tier. To use fake tiers. Dazzling Gleam, certain Pokemon. Well, just Dazzling Gleam just for damage. But it's not. Like I said, this thing ain't really going to be doing for damage. It's just going to be annoying. Protecting, encoring certain opponents. Doing the whole shebang shebang, you know. And obviously, as you can see by its defenses, it can take like, what? Maybe like a few hits, but that's really it. It's not gonna be able to take everything. If you really want this thing to be more bulky, you can tear steal it. I'd say like you can just tear steal. It gets rid of um the dark, dark. It gets rid of its dark bug. Primary though, I'd say primarily those two, like the dark and bug. Dark bug. I'm probably missing another one. If I'm being honest, I'm probably missing other weaknesses, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well, we'll talk. I'll probably explain more about its weaknesses. Maybe I don't fucking know. But Terra typing, I say probably Terra Steel if I'm being honest. Either or Terra Water. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll will figure it out when I actually make these mons in the game. But this is my first set for Scream Tail. It's pretty pretty simple to understand. The next one is an interesting set. This is gonna be a Trick Rooming one. A fast um a fast one that's gonna put Trick Room. But I'm gonna put speed. Um, I'll give it a modest nature just so it can at least do a little bit a little bit of damage with the Asling Gleam. I could make this one timid. A uh, you can make this thing timid just to give it more speed to be able to pop a trick room. It's one of these Pokemon where it's like, think of it as Meowskarada. Meowskarada is fast and you can throw a trick room on it. Bada bing, bada boom. You can flip the turn, flip the speed on people and they'll be like, what the fuck's happening? This nigga runs trick room. You're like, yeah, yup, yup. It runs trick room, buddy. This man runs trick room, but trick room protect, dazzling gleam, helping hand. The whole, you should already know the whole shebang and bang. It's a, this thing is really hardcore of a support team. A support Pokemon. And I have Terra Dark on this thing to protect itself from a few things. Not from the bug. Obviously, it won't be able to protect itself from the bug, but it's going to protect itself in the dark. And pr and Prankster as well. It also protects itself from Prankster. Prankster Pokemon. So that's also a plus right there. Ghost typing as well. It protects itself from a few things, but obviously the bug and fighting type, it will be weak too. So be careful of that one. I, have a, I always have the EVs and HP for both of them at least so it can tank hits because this whole the whole point is for it to be a sponge at least an hp sponge in its own right and with this one you know i give it 100 speed so it can at least be able to outspeed a few things be bulkier in the special defense give it like a little bit that little bit of special attack with a modest nature and then obviously everything else in the hp just for it to be able to sponge things but also do like good chip damage so yeah this is the scream tail literally this is just scream tail right here onwards to brute bonnet now, Brute Bonnet is an interesting, interesting Pokemon. I have two sets with this man, obviously. We're gonna. The first set is AV. This is just an AV, standard AV adamant set that I thought of. I was really trying to think, like, what else can I do with Brute Bonnet? Because everything else, like, what his core value is supposed to do is in the second set. So this one, I'm just messing around with. It has Terra Flying on it. Close Combat Crunch. 
Sucker Punch and Stomping Tandrum. This thing is slow. Obviously, you can tell by its speed. It's only base 55, so this thing is really slow. I gave it the Atom Nature, so it can hit a little bit harder than what you would, uh, like, actual Amoongus would expect. Because Amoongus typically does not hit hard, if you couldn't tell. Good! If you couldn't tell, normal Amoongus doesn't hit hard. But this version does. So, yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! This thing hits harder than the other Amoongus. It does damage. Woo! But it's really... Well, no, both of them are really slow. Damn, I had to think of that, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't they, like, both really slow? <laughs> yeah, they are. So, Trick Room away for these two, if I'm being honest. And if the sun is up, you could probably pair this thing up. Definitely just pair it up with the Torkoal. And it will be... Oh, shit. What's the one I'm looking for? It will be great. This thing will be hitting hard. It will have its damage up. And it will do a lot for your team. Maybe in singles. This looks like a single set I made, but not really VGC. But if we want the VGC set, I'm gonna go to the second one. But this is more of a damn. What's the word I'm looking for again? V singles. Shit. But I don't really play singles. So yeah. But let's move on. <laughs> so we have the actual set. That's what it's supposed to be. Booster Energy Protosynthesis with a Terra Grass, but you can change it to something else. Probably Terra. I'm probably gonna change it to Terra Flying if I'm being honest. With the Spore, Sucker Punch, Seed Bomb. Rage Powder. You already know what Rage Powder does. It drags in all of attacks to itself. Spore. Put dumb people to sleep. Go to sleep. Night, night. Sucker Punch. Priority. But that can be a little bit of a problem if Indeedies are running around, which that thing still might be prevalent in the VGC because have terrains are still a problem. And then Seed Bomb, obviously, because it needs a stab move to do something. So it got seed bomb it got it it got seed bomb i think it learns another i don't know if it learns another physical grass type move i think it's only seed bomb if i'm checking right now no it learns trailblaze but that's raising up its speed a lot and like this thing ain't really gonna be out speeding shit if i'm being honest like it's base 55 i don't see this thing with a whole bunch of trailblazes and speed boost this nigga ain't out speeding nothing so I'd rather take the damage and out of anything. I'd rather take its damage than try to outspeed stuff. If I'm being genuinely honest with y'all. <laughs> I'd rather do hardcore, hard damage with C-Bomb. Do the all the damage. All the damage. But who knows? Maybe I might slap Trailblaze on it just to see what it could do. But also, it could fuck up. It could fuck with it because... Think about this. What if the dude uses Trick Room? Think about that. What if they use, what if they use Trick Room? Because that could also potentially mess up if you just do a whole bunch of trailblazes. Get your speed boost up. But now you're very, very fast because of trailblaze and they use trick room. Now, somebody who had, now that speed, your kind of speed control is gone. So that's kind of a minus for that. A minus. But hey, it's something, I guess. It is. It's something. You can work with it. Obviously, you can give it like thing, what? Zero. There you go. You zero special attack IVs because you're not, you're not using your special attack. So. Yeah, but I think that's it for today for Brute Bonnet and Screamtail. I don't really have to explain like, I don't know these two especially I don't have to I didn't really have to go in and explain like who to watch out for who to really who these guys really would be able to go up against and just absolutely win uh because i don't know i don't know if these guys are really gonna be used that often oh that's just me that, that's just me uh, that's just me like i don't think they're gonna be used that often but maybe but maybe 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 maybe, maybe. i might be wrong they might be the most used pokemon they might be overused and probably win a tournament they might win a vgc tournament who knows i mean we had what um tauros Calde and tauros and bax caliber win a regionals recently they won a regional recently so pretty much anything is anything is viable anything is viable i mean let's not i mean let's not forget literally the pat let's not forget about pachirisu that little ru rupu i think or nu rupu nu that pokemon that thing has been used and it won a major sure it was a sacrificial role but hey it won goes to show you Anything can be fucking used. So who knows? Maybe a cloth sire. I don't know. A fucking cloth sire can probably win a regional. I'll be fucking. That'll be insane. But yeah, that, that, I'm gonna stop talking. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Comment uh, another Pokemon. Comment another Paradox Pokemon. I've already done Iron Valiant, uh, Roaring Moon, 
uh the both the dawn fans both dawn fans so what we have left is both of the volcaronas um uh oh sandy shocks both of the volcaronas sandy shocks i'm definitely missing one of my brain oh my gosh the other ones aren't aren't clicking so i'm probably gonna look them up later but <laughs> i'll see y'all later peace everybody